Hello collectors, welcome to the latest episode of the Unboxing Experience. I'm your host, Joe Prodzik. With me behind the camera today is the Kato Kid himself, Quang Tran. Say hi, Kato. Hi, bub. Uh, today we are going to be unboxing the new uh, Wolverine Premium Format figure uh, from Sideshow Collectibles. This is a statue I am really looking forward to. Not only am I, like many people, are a big fan of Wolverine, but this is the first statue in the new X-Men line from Sideshow Collectibles, a line that I am going to be all in on. So, uh, so far, box is looking uh, uh, pretty good here. Was a decent uh, weight when uh, it arrived. There, there is a, a little bit uh, of damage, but uh, let's uh, take a little bit uh, closer look at the box. So as you can see, uh, nothing too fancy here. We've got some graphics here, a little bit on the side, a little bit of an X on the back. In the top of the box, you can see uh, the Wolverine logo. So a decent box, not something you're gonna ooh and all ah over, but like I always say, this is gonna sit in the garage anyway, inside another piece of cardboard, so it's not that big of a deal. So I'm um, really looking forward to, uh, to open this guy up, so let's get this uh, box opened. Alright, so one of the uh, lighter statues I've had recently, and looks like it's going to be one of the uh, easier uh, statues to assemble. So we have a body of Wolverine here, of course regular and exclusive heads, base, and a couple of claws. So should be a fairly simple, fairly easy unboxing experience today, Kato. So let's um, move some boxes around. Get this guy set up. So we'll start with the base here, which is a hand of a sentinel. And what they're doing with this new X-Men line is some, uh, it's basically like a battle at the X-Mansion and some of the X-Men are going to be um, fighting outside and have kind of outside sentinel related bases and then some of them are going to be fighting inside the mansion so they'll have uh, bases that kind of reflect inside the mansion so here we got Wolverine's uh, sentinel hand we look at the bottom we got number 38 actually it's 380 of uh, 2500 there Bottom of the base is really cool. Again, you're probably never gonna see it very much. I do like the look of the base so far. Uh, it looks uh, pretty nice there. Now we're gonna put the body on here. I haven't watched any other unboxing videos yet. I know there are several out there already, uh, but I have heard that he is a little bit fussy when uh, inserting him in the base. So I've heard that the trick to that is to put his front foot down before putting the rear foot in the base. They say that's the trick, but uh, it didn't really work that way for me here. So front foot and base. Maybe? Maybe? No. Looks like that's not gonna work for me either. He should come up. That's not really a sound that you like to hear though, Kato. Not really a sound that you like to, to hear. But it's a little bit of uh, pressure and he's snapped in. A little bit too snugly uh, than I would have liked. Uh, but that's something everyone has been complaining about. 
can take a hair dryer, um, tweak that little um, that pole a little bit in order to get him in the base if you need to. Just be super careful with that. Make sure you don't apply too much heat. But uh, he's on my base, okay. Let's get some claws on him. Oh, that's pretty nice, Kato. Almost afraid to touch him, as I don't want to get cut. I'm a big fan of Wolverine. He's one of my favorite Marvel characters. Uh, definitely my favorite X-Men. He's a lot of people's favorite Marvel characters in X-Men. Um, Wolverine is one of the characters which I wouldn't mind having multiple statues of. So this will be my second Wolverine statue. I have the brown costume, samurai statue uh, previously. So I'm happy to add the blue and yellow costume as well. Now here is the regular uh, portrait. Looks uh, pretty good, pretty decent. Teeth are pretty good. Not bad, not bad. Let's slap that on there. There you go. Simple as that. Simple as that, Kato. So there he is. Wolverine. A premium format figure, sideshow collectibles. We got a little styrofoam in here still. Right, I like that uh, little blaster here on the the hand of the Sentinels. A little bit different shade there. I really do like the base. It's got some nice claw marks in it. Little claw marks in it from the battle with the X-Men. I really do like uh, the texture on Wolverine's costume. Uh, looks pretty good. He's got some uh, weathering there on his shoes. His shoes look dusty and dirty, um, while the rest of him uh, looks a little bit more cleaner. And one of my pet peeves with a lot of Wolverine statues is the the hair on the arms and whether or not they get it right. Because we all know Wolverine is a hairy dude, right? So the brown costume one, he's got no hair on his arms. Hey, maybe Wolverine was shaving to get buff for the day. But so this one looks really good. A couple other statues can, they look like little dark lines on them that I've seen, so. Paint so far uh, looks great. You got some weathering there on the shoulder pads. Um, I'm not uh, noticing any imperfections here right off the bat, so really, really pleased so far. Uh, belt looks good, simple. Does have some uh, stitching, a little bit that you can see, really cool. I do like, um, you know, Sideshow has been redoing a lot of their characters uh, lately, but the technology has advanced. You're gonna be able to get more textures on there, more details in there. Um, I do like the musculature on Wolverine. He is um, he's muscular without uh, looking too overly built like a bodybuilder might. Um, yeah, really, really cool. Because if you're uh, uh, someone who can heal, you know, at will, that's gonna make your time in the gym super good, right? So you lift in the gym, and then your muscles build up when they heal the next day, so you gotta imagine Wolverine needs to work out very rarely, because once he's worked out so much, his muscles just heal super quickly the next day. So we got one more head. This is the exclusive head for Wolverine. So uh, with the mask removed, so I'm not gonna say maskless, because he does have the mask on the back there. You can see he just took it off, so there is the maskless portrait. And I like this, um, with some other maskless portraits, you don't really, wouldn't really display them on the character because it doesn't make sense for him to be walking around without his mask. Like uh, one uh, statue I'm thinking in particular is the new Miles Morales. Um, his exclusive is a uh, maskless portrait. He doesn't have the mask hanging down, so what is he doing running around without a mask? Uh, for Wolverine, you could 
display it like this because it makes sense. It makes sense to have him um, with that portrait because he's taken his, his mask down. So um, it does, I don't know if I necessarily like the look of it though, to be honest, after seeing it. Um, Kind of odd to have it on the back of his head. Maybe he would just take the mask off and throw it down. But Wolverine is a character who, um, you know, can take off his mask. He doesn't really care. Whereas uh, someone else might be trying to hide their identity still. So, so probably though, for me, we're gonna go with the full mask on there. It's probably gonna be my preferred method of displaying him. Overall. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with this Kato, pretty happy. Well, thanks for joining me on this latest episode of the unboxing experience. One of the shorter unboxings I've had lately. A very uh, simple uh, Wolverine statue. Very simple, easy, uh, easy to put together. A light statue. This guy's not going to take up a lot of real estate like some of the others that I've unboxed uh, recently. So. And don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date on all of our latest unboxings and statue reviews. Uh, every two weeks, Kato and I have a sh show called Statue Talk, where we just sit around and talk about the latest uh, previews, pre-orders, and share with you uh, some updates to our collection. Really excited about this Wolverine statue. I think it's the first of good things to come. So I'm really looking forward to uh, unboxing that whole line. Got Magneto, Emma Frost, Mystique uh, already on pre-order, and I'll be putting Rogue X-23, uh, Juggernaut, Cable, which we haven't uh, really seen too much of yet, and uh, the rest of the, the boys and girls from the X-Men line on my pre-order list, and I'll be unboxing them and reviewing them uh, right here on this channel. And remember, statue collecting is more than just a hobby, it's a lifestyle. This is Joe Prodzik, behind the camera, Kato Kid. Thanks for watching.